uh, scenic deal. How we did, how I did it. It's actually two layers. It's actually three, actually. It's a main layer, two secondary layers, and the skyline of uh, Louisville. I believe it's Louisville, but we'll say it's Louisville for uh, argument's sakes. <laughs> All right. So I really did want to talk about um, some stuff. You know, like some of the um, living free category people will tell you. Um, the Rainbow Gatherings. Um, the Slap City will also tell you. Um, you know, I've been on a road for a long enough to tell you how, how things are. I, myself, realize I'm greedy. I'm a greedy motherfucker. I don't like sharing shit as much as possible. So that's why I don't hang around other uh, free like minded people because I'm a greedy motherfucker when it comes to stuff like cash, sharing food goods, and you know I learned, I'm learning over the years it's like if I want to be around people I gotta be uh, sharing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, tell you some things that society purely thinks yes there are pure lazy uh, bums out there there are I'm not going to um, I'm not going to sugarcoat this I'm gonna tell you how it is oh, good I just looked at my uh, recording here it's recording unlike yesterday I spent like 15 15 seconds or more Talking to a dead camera, basically, which is always a rookie mistake. This got to go. This long ass hair. Hey, look, it looks gray underneath. <laughs> it's all black. Don't worry, I'm not getting stressed out here. All right. So, back to the subject. Even though I got diverted by this long black hair. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying. That yes, there are pure homeless or pure lazy bums that don't want to work, don't don't want to put in anything. So, when you are within a group like the um, like um, Slab City or the Rainbow Gatherings, you do have to put in. If you don't put in, you don't get fed. Uh, you don't have to work for cash majority of the times out there, but there are people that do because because they want good things. And some of y'all be like, well, why don't they just work for it and get a normal job? Yeah, that's 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 a part of another story there. But um, within the society of the living free, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick one subject right now. So it'd be a lot easier and it doesn't look like I'm rambling on and on about different subjects. So, one year I was in uh, Alabama and there was a couple that was going to a regional gathering. So, I was like, alright, well, if I'm going to be a part of this lifestyle, I'm going to check this out. Well, I ended up losing a couple, but I ended up finding where the uh, gathering was. So I ended up bushwhacking myself. Bushwhacking myself. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my mind's in a gutter when I thought about bushwhacking. But anyway, uh, I don't know how, how you can get your mind in the gutter. But anyway, I was walking, got in there, got on top. I mean, literally, you couldn't see the gathering from the road. You had to literally be right up on them to see it. And I made my way. And I came out of the woods. Several uh, rainbows were like, whoa, are you a cop? No, no way. The reason why they thought I was a cop because I wear these baggies. And then I usually have a black shirt on. Like um, underwear. Under, underwear. Under armor. Under armor. <laughs> <laughs> Under Armour and and this stuff, yeah, khaki beige whatever. So they all flip. Well, not all of them, but until they realized that I wasn't a cop, I had a GoPro stuck on my head, camera. Uh, 
Usually I have it on, on down here, like hanging from my neck. And I ended up meeting several individuals. I met uh, a uh, kitchen, kitchen, uh, the Brand X. I met the uh, A. A camp. I met. Fr uh, apparently, there are several front gates. Obviously, it's when they call front gate. The front gate is like literally right at the entrance of the camp. I met the Brandex Kitchen. I met, you know, a lot of cool people there. I met Smash. Uh, he was awesome. I uh, didn't really talk to him, but I try to hang around but I was an outsider at then they're like okay this outsider what should we do with him so I kind of like stayed on the outskirts of the kitchens and stuff so when they asked who wants to volunteer and I said I volunteered to pick up wood or whatever you got got for me so they starting to like they like that and I realized well in order to get fed among these people I either had to go fly a sign or volunteer and I choose to volunteer because I don't really me personally I don't like flying a sign or as they say i um, grabbing a credit card and grabbing a credit card doesn't mean a credit card it means cardboard with words on it I don't do that uh, it's not that I am ashamed of it it's just that there is no need for that People know what a backpack and, and a dog is. Yeah. So, when I was to sum this up, no matter what part of society that you choose to take in, you do, you do have to take your part. And, yeah. So, where do I fit in all this? I don't fit. I don't fit in. I'm just a solo. With my dog. My dog's back there my new dog so that's why most of the people don't really know me out there is because I don't inject myself into the crowds like that there are a few people that I meet along the way that knows of me and they know how I am um yeah but anyway as I keep on talking I realize I didn't make a point so we're gonna get off this subject. I see you in the shit. All right, <laughs> in a, in a, I see you in the next clip, hey guys. So we're no longer in Kentucky. We went up north to Ohio, and we're doing uh, another load. So not much going on. What I really want to say is, next time you see a homeless person or a bum. Don't think right off the bat that he's really, he or she is a true bum. Because you never know the story behind a bum. Now, for granted, don't, well, what I'm trying to say is, just be considerate and be nice. But anyway, I got to go use the bathroom and do bathroom things. And I'll be back in the next vlog. Before you leave, check out the merch site. The link's down below. Thanks uh, thanks to Zorfot for uh, creating the merch. Um, so, if you really want to help the channel in that aspect... Please go down to the description. You should see it right off the bat. And let's roll out to the outro. Peace, love, stay true, and be happy.